Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today, I'll be going over this week's Problem of the Week. For the full problem and solution transcript, you can see the link in the description of this video on our YouTube channel. So this week's Problem of the Week asks you, given a finite set, uh, our finite collection of open sets, so we have open sets uh, denoted with u1 all through uk, where uk is not equal to infinity. Uh, so all of these sets are open in Rn, and the question is asking us to prove that the intersection the, finite, the intersection of these finite group of sets is also open in Rn. So the way that we're going to approach this is we're going to use the definition of an open set, um, as one normally does in a proof like this. And first, we're going to go ahead and let V, V be some set where V is equal to, again, just a finite intersection from I equals 1 to K of Ui. So we're letting V be the set of the intersect, the set which is the intersection of all of these open sets. And we're trying to prove that V is open. So we're going to go ahead and choose some point P. So choose P. P should be bold P. P which is in V. So then we chose a P which is in V. And since V is the intersection, which is by, by definition the overlap of all of the open sets, we know that P is in fact in all of the, P is contained in all of the um, open sets ui for all i between 1 and k. So this just means for all of the open sets, p, this point p is in fact inside of all these open sets. Uh, and so we know that by definition, because each ui is an open set, there, is, there exists some, some ri's, so some, radi, some radii uh, ri, so we have r where i is 1 through k. Um, Radii, again, just greater than zero here by convention, such that, just as, uh, such that by definition of the open set, we have a ball of radius ri. So balls uh, of radii ri centered around p are all contained inside of the intersection of these open sets. So we know that, we're just going to use this notation, the ball of radius r sub i centered around this point P, which is in V, so is, which is in all of the open sets U1 through UK. So we know that this ball of radius Ri around P, or these balls of radii Ri, I should be saying, around P are completely contained within the UI for all I. So this is just saying that we have, so we have an open set, so you can imagine P is some point, and we have the intersection of some open sets here. And so we're doing, we're looking at balls. Oh, it's not a very even radius there. All these balls of radius, different radii, but that are completely contained within these other sets here. So we would have something like this then, and uh, could even have something like, this is pretty much centered around there. So yeah, so we're looking at all these different balls here. Just point out the different radii here that are completely contained within um, each of the individual given open sets. So we're now going to consider, we're, we're now going to consider the minimum of all of these radii. So we're now going to consider the smallest, so we can look at these radii as a set. So we have a set of all the radiuses of all the different balls and all of the different open sets. So from i equals 1 to k. So we consider the minimum of all of those radii, and we know that the, minim, the ball of this radius, so the ball of the minimum radius, the smallest, the smallest ball is contained in this open set. So the ball of radius minimum, the smallest radius here, from decay, we know this ball around, centered around point P, I should say, is completely contained within all of the other open, it's completely contained within all of the other open or balls of radius Ri around P for all I. So we're just saying that the smallest, the smallest radius ball here we have centered around P is going to be completely contained within all of, the other, um, all of the other balls of radius I centered around P. So be, just because we chose the smallest one, so by definition it's going to be inside all of the bigger ones there um, for all I, which again, and we know that all of these B sub I, uh, B balls of radius Ri are contained in V because V is the intersection of all of the UI. So we know that this is contained. We know that 
Therefore, okay, so this implies that ball of the minimum radius um, r sub i from i equals 1 to k around p, that this implies that this ball is completely contained within v, where v is just, again, the intersection of all of the open sets. So we know that by definition, we're kind of going backwards from the definition here, the fact that we have a ball around any arbitrary, arbitrary point p of some uh, greater than zero radius ri around p is completely contained within v implies that v is op an open set. So therefore, we know that v is open. So what we did was essentially we created a set, which is the intersection of all of these open sets, of all the finite collection of these open sets here. And then we considered uh, some point P. We constructed some balls of radius Ri around this point P. We chose the minimum, or the smallest of those balls, smallest of the radii of those balls. And we proved that the, that the ball of that radius is completely contained within all the other balls, which is completely contained within our intersection of the sets, which therefore implies that our intersection of all of a finite collection of open sets Ui in Rn is going to be open. So that's it for today's problem of the week. So for more problems of the week, you can click on our problem of the week playlist here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click this link here. And to visit us at centerofmath.org, click this link here. Thank you for watching.